Yo, what's up? Mike here, and today I'm reviewing the Fallout X by Buffalo Boards. Uh, we'll first jump right in here and talk about the design. Buffalo does an awesome job with their designs. In fact, I think their design team may be one of the best out there in the business. I mean, they're just top notch. I love the way all their bags look. In fact, the, the, the dead head here, one of my favorite looking designs of all time. I just, I just love the way they did this. This Fallout X is really no exception. Very, very clean, a very simple logo. I love the looks of it. Now, I will preface this by saying the new uh, pro season is about to, is around right around the corner and there's all the companies are starting to release their new bags with the new pro stamps on them so i don't know uh, by the time you watch this video the new bags may already be released if not they're right there next day or two uh, from when i release this video i don't know if they're going to change the looks of this if they do have confidence it'll still look great if not i think this is an awesome logo I have no no issues with it they do great colorways so yeah awesome 10 out of 10 on the design on it as far as the materials go this fast side is the exact same fast size of deadhead which i did a review on if you, if you haven't seen it, go check it out uh, a lot of people love this bag love this fast side. it's actually it's actually the viper fast side so again if you're familiar with one of these two bags that's the fast side you're getting it plays at a nine speed crazy fast crazy hole friendly will push through anything it's one of my favorite fast side materials out there and it works well in this bag the slow side here, uh, it's a it's technically a carpet, but it's a hybrid type carpet. If you're familiar with BG, the BG Wizard uses the exact same carpet on there. Runs about a six speed on the on the boards, and it's actually a great material because it it it, it can play in all conditions. And if you're a carpet bag thrower, you can play this like a carpet bag. And if you're a fast bag thrower, you can play like a fast bag. So it really kind of fits every style of play which makes a great blind draw bag but it's also a great bag to have in your arsenal because you can pull it out and in the middle of the game i can start playing a dirty style game and then half the game to change up and start playing a fast bag type game and just keep my opponent on his heels because they don't know how i'm playing because i can do it all with this bag right so all in all the the materials the design awesome uh, the template, this is probably, not probably, this is the largest bag that, that I've ever thrown. I mean, it's just, it's a massive template. I mean, the, the Deadhead and the Viper are, are large bags, and this is even a little bigger than those two. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually, a, it's a very floppy bag because it has that large template on there, which is, which is not common for carpet. Carpet doesn't tend to be super crazy floppy, but this is, this is a crazy floppy bag. It feels great in the hand. It has that flat disc feel that, that Buffalo uses in their bag. Same feel that Cornell Scenario uses. Uh, Lucky Bags uses uh, a lot of companies uh, use that flat disc feel. Just it, I've talked about it before, it gives it that nice, smooth, fluid feel. So you don't feel those individual beads; they all just kind of blend together in the hand. So all in all, great bag, great design, great materials, great template, great feel. There, I mean, it's just it's just overall the the, the design and craftsmanship. It's an awesome bag, no flaws, no issues whatsoever. Now playability. So I talked about it that you know you've got your you've got your Viper fast side with your Wizard's low side, right? Two kind of different bags but when you mesh those materials together they actually work so well together right you've got this this carpet material this hybrid material that i can throw blocks with i can i can cut around bags with um, you can roll this material i can't roll it it can be rolled right it, it, the, because this bag is so loose and floppy I, I i'm not a great roll bag i've mentioned this before a roll bag thrower I need a fuller, smaller template bag with the bead fill if I'm gonna to try to roll. This bag is just, just doesn't work for me. However, I've seen ACL Pro AJ Sims roll this bag. No problem whatsoever. So it's definitely a bag that can be rolled. If you are a roll bag thrower, you can roll this bag. I'm, I can't, but it doesn't mean it can't be done, right? Anyway, you can play cut shots with this bag um, because you've got this, this fast side that you can push, like I said, push through anything, collect anything. The larger, I, I love the fact that it's a larger template bag because it makes for great blockers. You can really play blockers on your opponent's side of the board and still collect them easily. And what I like to do when I'm playing this bag is you take the center line of the hole and come right down the middle of the board. I want to put this bag, you know, maybe just just slightly on my side, you know, maybe, maybe you know, I don't know, a fifth of the bag on my side and four fifths of the bag across the other side on the opponent's side of the board, right? So it's it's completely blocking their lane. They've got to do something crazy if they're going to try to get around it. More likely they're going to either have to go through it or go over it. But because it's still sitting there and now I've got this large bag there and I've got another large bag, if I throw this bag right down the middle, what's it going to do? It's going to hit and collect and they're both going in. Like I don't have to throw a crazy cut shot across the board to collect this bag even though it's sitting in my opponent's lane. And that's what I love about it. When you're playing with a smaller template bag, 
you've got to take the center line and put the back across the center line to block your opponent's lane if a small, you have a smaller template. And then when you do that, you really got to come across to collect. This larger template eliminates that problem. I can block my opponent's side all day long and not have to sweat about trying to collect that bag, which is why I absolutely love it. And then you then you add into that these two whole friendly materials. And this bag, you know, when I throw that blocker on their side, I can just kind of sneak around on my side and, and drop a couple in, couple in, and then my last bag collect. And I can just leave that blocker in their way and make them sweat it out and deal with it, right? I don't have to collect this bag with my next row because it's it, it's it, i can get it far enough out of the way and i can get around it no problem so it makes it great for playing that dirty style game right the other thing is and i mentioned before is if you're a fast pack throw and you just want to just slide bags in the hole because you've got this crazy hole friendly slow side and crazy hole friendly fast side this bag just melts in the hole i i love it it's it's it is the most hole friendly carpet bag i've ever thrown um i just love the way it it, it goes it slides in the hole it, it plays great. Um, the six speed. If I if I got a blocker up there, like a level one blocker, I can I can still throw a slow side collect it and push in, or do a push replace, push replace, then flip it over and collect it at the end. The only time I really flip it over this fast side is if I've got a blocker that's a little further down the board, like a level two, level three, or I've got two bags up there and I've got to push through both. I'll flip it over fast side and then that's when I push right through it. But this this six speed in most conditions plays so well you, you don't really have to use the fast side until you really have to push through something to collect um so yeah it's a great bag for all play styles it plays great in in most all conditions in fact if you're uh if you're a deadhead thrower and you love this bag i've talked about it numerous times about how this surefire material on the slow side just is unplayable in human condition right when it starts getting human the boards get tacky this bag just stops and won't move so if you're a deadhead thrower this is a must-have for you add this to your arsenal because again same fast side same same fill everything the same but you just change the back side the slow side material and so when the boards get sticky or humid this will still play and you can still play so you don't have to change your game right when the boards start attacking and get sticky put this in your bag pull this out and you can keep playing your same game you're gonna love it. You're gonna love the way this feels. It feels very similar to this bag. Um, so yeah, if you love Deadheads, you're gonna love the Fallout X. Um, and, and really, it's one of those bags that I think most everyone should have. It, it's I forgot how how much I love this bag. I, when I do reviews, I throw so many bags. So I'm constantly swapping bags out in my backpack. Cause if I've got a review come up a bag, I want to take it out with me. I want to play it in some tournaments, some games. I want to get a feel for it. So I I swap things out. And I pulled this out of my bag a while ago as so I was putting other bags in. And so when I started this review, it's the first time I'd thrown it in a while, and I just, I forgot how much I loved it, and I just fell right back and loved this bag, and it's something that's going to go right back in my back. I'm going to figure out a way to put it in my backpack and leave it, just because it's such a great bag. I love it. It plays in all conditions. Um, great blind draw bag, because it can play for all people. So yeah, oh no, I don't have anything negative to say about this bag at all. Highly recommend it. Uh, as far as availability, they've been readily available on Buffalo's website. Uh, buffaloboards.com however because i mentioned before they're coming out with a new stamp here very soon there's very little on inventory right now uh, but once the new bags release they'll have inventory back in stock they've been running 110 for a set of bags so on the pricier end not the highest price but they're they're on that pricier end that may be the one negative is it's it's a higher price bag but Honestly, you, you won't be disappointed if you buying this 110 plus shipping. You're, you're getting your money's worth out of this. You're going to love it. Um, Buffalo has great customer service. I mean, the whole company, I'm just, I love everything about the company and what they're doing. I'm becoming a huge Buffalo Boards fan. Uh, and, and this is one of the reasons why. So yeah, I highly recommend this bag. If you can get your, if you can get set your hands on a set to try them out, absolutely do it. You're going to love them as well as I do. Um, again, it's a bag. It's one of my rotation again, and it'll probably stay in there for a while. So Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I thank you for your support. Any questions, any, drop them down in the comments below or shoot me a message through one of my other um, social media or an email, however you want to reach out to me. Um, again, thank you guys for watching.